Hi, the topic for today is Adeline or called the adaptive linear neuron. So what is an Adeline neural network? Adeline stands for adaptive linear neuron. This kind of a neural network has a single linear unit. It was developed in 1960 by Widrow and Hoff. Adeline is a single layer neural network. It has multiple nodes. Each node accepts multiple inputs. But the point to be noted here is it generates one output. Some key salient points you should note about this Adeline is it uses a bipolar activation function. The Adeline neural network uses a delta rule for training. This delta rule that we will see shortly has a unique capability of minimizing or reducing the MSC, the mean squared error. Also, in the case of an Adeline neural network, the weights and the bias are adjustable. If you look into the Adeline architecture, so you have the set of inputs, the set of weights, and they go into an error function. Then you have an activation function, and then you have the output represented as Y. So like a perceptron, this also has, you know, the inputs, the outputs, the weights, the bias B, and so on. So what makes an Adeline neural network different from a perceptron? If you talk of a perceptron, a perceptron normally takes a binary response. You know, when I say a binary response, what it basically does is something like a classification result where, you know, uh, it computes the error and, you know, that error is used to update the weights. If you talk of an Adeline neural network, you have something called the continuous response value. This continuous response value will update the weights and, uh, you know, this basically differentiates a perceptron from an Adeline neural network. Though there are some subtle differences between a perceptron and an Adeline, they share some common properties. What are they? They are all classifiers for binary classification. The perceptron and Adeline have a linear decision boundary. The learning pattern, if you see, you know, both learn in an iterative fashion. You know, we call it sample by sample learning. And a perceptron basically does learning sample by sample in a natural fashion whereas an Adeline neural network also learns sample by sample but via what's called you know the stochastic gradient descent. When you talk of a threshold function both uses threshold function either it could be a perceptron or an Adeline. Okay then what do you think would be some kind of, you know, differences? Differences vary in only certain aspects. And we would see, you know, where the differences come. If you talk of the type of the model, the input value types and so on, both are similar. For example, if you talk of the type of the model, both use what is called the feed-forward model. If you talk of the input value types, both are binary, 0 or 1, true or false or whatever you could call it. 
When you talk of the layers of the neuron, a perceptron has one input layer and a one output layer. Whereas an adaline differs from a perceptron in the sense that it has many input layers but resembles a perceptron in the way it produces the output where there is only one output layer. When you talk of the activation function applied, a perceptron uses what is called a step function whereas an adaline uses a linear function. It is important to note about the learning method where an adaline learns by what is called the supervised learning rule. And if you talk of the learning algorithm, it uses what is called the gradient descent. If you talk of a perceptron, it uses what is called the Hebb learning rule. When you talk of the kind of applications with respect to a perceptron and an adaline neural network, a pattern recognition application is suitable for a perceptron, whereas any kind of you know, regression that you need to apply is suitable for an adaline neural network. These are certain key features that basically, you know, distinguishes a perceptron from an adaline. So what is important to note with respect to an adaline neural network is the adaline neural network uses what is called the delta learning rule, the delta rule, you know, this is a gradient descent learning rule. And this rule is basically used to update the weights of the inputs to the artificial neurons. So this rule basically works like this, you know, it will update the weight between the connections so that, you know, it will minimize the difference between the net input to the output and the target value. So you can write it as, you know, you know, delta wj equal to target of i minus output of i into xj and, you know, whatever you can call it. And, you know, the Adeline neural network training algorithm works like this. In the first step, you initialize the weights, the bias and the learning rate for training. Then you run a sequence of steps, you know, that runs in an iterative fashion until the stopping condition is not true and you know you activate each input unit as x i equals s i where i ranges from 1 to n and then you obtain the net input using a relation y i n equals b plus sigma equal to 1 to n x i into w i then you apply an activation function and when you talk of an activation function it looks like this f of y i n equals 1 if y i n is greater than or equal to 0 minus 1 if y i n is less than 0. This is what is called activation function. Then you adjust the weights and the bias. There are two cases which we basically we will consider if y not equal to t and y equal to t. In the first case I say y is not equal to t then the weight w i of nu equals you know wi old plus alpha into t minus yin into xi then bias of nu that is b of nu equal to b of old plus alpha into t minus yin there is a second case if y equal to t what will happen wi nu equal to wi old b nu equal to b old yeah so the new weight and the old weight are equal and the new bias is equal to the old bias you know, what we can look at here is, you know, why is the actual output? T is called the target output, otherwise called the desired output. Then you should say probably, you know, T minus YIN is going to be what is called the computed error. Then the last step would be test for the stopping condition. When there is no change in the weight or probably the highest weight change occurs during training is smaller than the specified tolerance, then, you know, you say, you know, there is something called a stopping condition and then you probably stop the training. So what kind of applications can be used for Adeline neural network? Um, for example, the bomb sniffers, mortgage risk calculators, stock price prediction, adaptive filtering and pattern recognition are some of the key applications that could suit the Adeline neural network. So thank you. So this 
video has given an overall understanding of an adaline neural network, how this network called the adaline neural network resembles a perceptron and how is it different from a perceptron and we have also seen how to perform training due, using the adaline neural network and we also have seen some kind of applications that could be probably following what is called the adaline neural network model. Thank you. Stay tuned for more lectures on neural networks.